Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber guys. Alright, so we're going to do something that we haven't done in a while. <laughs> we're going to do a trading card review, man. Yeah, back in the day I used to do a lot of these on my channel. Um, if you guys saw my last toy hunt, this was in my last toy hunts. Um, I got this for 20 bucks at uh, a local comic book store called Warp Zone. This is the Wild Storm Set 1. I'm guessing that's how you say it. Uh, I don't know if I have all the cards, but we'll we'll find out. So really, there's really a hundred cards overall. Then you had the specialty cards, and then you had the then you had the autograph cards as well. So some of the autograph cards right there. I don't know how well you guys are seeing this. One of them is Jim Lee, Mark Silvestri, uh, Scott Clark, so on and so forth. But uh, we're going to take a look at these cards, man, because I feel like they are worth a review because they look freaking beautiful, bro. Just look at them. Let me bring my camera down just a little bit so we can do a better review of this. And if you guys are here with me today, just want to say thank you. Don't be a hater. Don't give this video a thumbs down. I know my last video, my toy hunt wasn't that great, but, uh, you know, it it's really hard finding you know some new figs man uh out there in the wild nowadays you know the scalpers are getting into getting to them real quick bro all right so let's start with this would be card number one right here let me see bring my camera down just a little bit all right okay so if you guys are fans of image you'll probably like this as you guys can see you see the jim lee right there this is brass right there looking so dope man uh, so a lot of these characters they have never been made into action figure form i definitely would love to see somebody mcfarlane or somebody bring these uh figures to life here's a little read up on brass if you guys are interested he is number one you can pause it and do a little read up i'll do that with every card expect a long video <laughs> This is, this is going to be a long video. Here is Mythos, another Jim Lee inspired artwork right there. There's a little read up on Mythos if you guys care to do a little read up. And I'll try to go through this as quickly as possible because there's a lot of freaking cards here. I don't want to do two parts, so hopefully you guys are tuned in. Here's Jim Lee, Crusade, another Jim Lee art piece. I love the metallic look. Here's a little read up if you guys are intrigued. You can pause it and read it. That's number three. Mr. Majestic, another Jim Lee. Beautiful, bro. Beautiful. Little read up on the back. Number four. I might have to do a part. <laughs> this is going to be like 20 minutes long, man. Another Jim Lee. Jim Lee 94, Soldier. Little read up if you guys want to know some more of a story on Soldier. Jim Lee, I'm, I'm guessing these are all artists uh, at the beginning, time span right there, bro. So uh, probably the first, you know, maybe 20 are going to be Jim Lee, and then another artist is going to take over. Tapestry, Jim Lee, of course. You see the signature. Love the artwork, man. This artwork is just so beautiful, man. Jim Lee, one of the best comic book artists of all time, in my opinion. Belfile. The art defile, defile, defile. Another Jim Lee. Shit. Number nine. There's a little read up if you guys are intrigued. EMP. Uh, it's done by a different artist. I don't know who the artist is. There's a little read up of EMP. Uh, Spartan. One of my favorite favorite character Spartan from the Wildcats these and these are Wildcats right here it's probably going into uh, these are Rob Liefeld um, could be Rob Liefeld is it Rob Liefeld could be Rob Liefeld being that no no wait Jim Lee uh, did the Wildcats sorry about that there was a little read up on Spartan Zealot Zealot right there I definitely would love to do some customs of Wildcat figures man there's Grifter. Damn, that artwork is just so amazing, bro. Right here, bro. Right here. This is this right here is my thumbnail. 
beautiful bro if you don't know anything about grifter here's a little read up on grifter warblade awesome bro a little read up on warblade number 14 voodoo love it there's a little read up on voodoo maul just recently did a review on this guy giant maul right there here is void man i would love to see i don't know about you guys but i would love to see a movie on wildcats bro beautiful beautiful artwork there's a little read up on void uh battalion Uh, Savant. Great, great artwork. I wish I wish I could read the entire story of these characters to you guys, but I'm afraid it might fall asleep, and I'm afraid that this video would be two hours long. <laughs> Most of you guys would, I know, uh, well, maybe twenty percent of you guys would probably sit through it. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe forty percent of you guys are actually sitting through this review. And if you are, if you made, if you made it this far, congratulate yourself. Fuji, that was Fuji. Hell Strike. It's amazing, dude, to be an artist and to create your own character, bro, and to have him be so so successful too. I think that's an, a great great achievement for any comic book artist, man. Whether it's uh, Stan Lee or Jim Lee or Todd McFarlane or Rob Liefeld, you know, any any people out there, Winter, this, this guy's name, anyone out there who creates their own, you know, comic book character and for it to, there, here's Fahrenheit, for it to uh, go the distance and become such a popular character, man, it must, it must be a good feeling, you know, and to survive this long, you know, like Spider-Man has and and Superman, how iconic they are, and pretty much timeless they are, right? Spider-Man, Superman, the Avengers, X-Men, all these guys are, are timeless. Canon, love, I love, I, the one thing I love about, you know, Image uh, in general, and Jim Lee, and a lot of these uh, superheroes from that era is that they, they took a very futuristic approach with all their superheroes. Flashpoint, there's a little read-up. And that's one of the main reasons why I like a lot of these characters, is that they're really futuristic, man. It, it's like they're set in the future. It reminds me a lot of the X-Men. That's probably one of the reasons why I like a lot of these these characters from Image, is because they just remind me a lot of the X-Men. Sunburst, speaking of Sunburst, Sunfire, Undertow. Great, great looking piece. Pagan. I mean, let's be honest, you know. I mean, if you look at a majority of Marvel characters, I mean, really, majority of them, you know, are kind of like these characters right here. They're pretty much unknown, you know, unless you're a hardcore, like, Marvel fan. Backlash. Oh, I love the color in this, man. Yeah, if you're a hardcore like Marvel fan, then you probably know a lot of Marvel figures, you know. But really, they're just kind of unknowns like these characters right here that I'm showing you. Synergy, just beautiful, beautiful artwork. And this is what I mean by being futuristic, too. Just look at the artwork, man. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. I can't wait to put this into uh, my binder. Weatherman 1. <laughs> What's his, what's his superpower to accur ac accurately predict the weather? Uh, Fairchild. Grunge. Freefall. And I'm just going to keep it going. Uh, burnout. Uh, 
Rainmaker. <laughs> I'm guessing she's a storm, storm wannabe, Dane. He's an action figure form. I've seen him in action figure form before. Dane. Same thing with Mother One as well. She's an action figure form. There's a little read up on Mother One. She's from Wetworks. Wetworks. Wet. Wetworks have have done uh have done figures before. Claymore. There's the back. Okay, so we got 41 down. How much more do we got to go? A whole lot more to go. Stay tuned. This is probably going to be a 20-minute video. Uh, Jester. I'm going to try to go through it as quickly as possible, guys. Grail. Love it, dude. Look at that artwork, dude. That's an awesome, awesome character, man. This is from uh, Wetworks as well. I believe there was a, a character, a, a figure that was done about uh, with grail same thing with pilgrim too there is a character there is she is in figure form action figure form that's what i meant to say same thing with dozer he's from wetworks as well you can find him in action figure form released in the early 90s johnny lynch Team 7. I don't think they've ever done a Team 7. I could be wrong. Cole Cash. Also of Team 7. Mark Slayton. Team 7. Michael Cray. Michael Cray Cray. Team 7. Is uh, Al Simmons part of part of uh, Team Seven? Jackson Dane. Never heard of Team Seven. They look pretty awesome, bro. Uh, Stephen Cal Cal Callahan. Stephen Callahan of Team Seven. There's a little read up if you guys are intrigued. Philip Chang. Team Seven. Alexander Fairchild. Team 7. Now it looks like we're getting to something different now. Cybernary. Cybernary affiliation. Cybernary. Deathblow. Order of the Cross. Uh, Sister Mary. <laughs> Dude. Amazing. Amazing artwork. And the metallic really makes it pop. Union. Uh, of course, I have some Union comic books. If you guys follow my pay, uh, my YouTube channel, then you guys know I have... So actually, I just bought a Union. My first Union comic book, actually, not too long ago. Alila. Pro Protectorate. Craven. Lynch. Great characters, man. These, you know, Hollywood is desperate enough, man. They're always looking for stories. Black Razor. So, it wouldn't surprise me if someone, someone does a movie of, of these characters, man. Keeper. Because there's just too much, too much here not to do a story of some of these characters, man. Hellspot. Hell spot right here. He's part of the Wildcats Cabal affiliation. I think he's like one of the uh, villains. High Tower. Pike. I don't know. Oh, right here. Okay, kind of looks like a Deadpool wannabe. Pike. Providence. Providence, Rhode Island. Dalmite, Dalmite, Daum, Demonite, Demonite, Dynamite, Cabal. He's actually, um, he he's he was made into action figure form. Believe it or not, he's actually I think part of the Wildcats. I think one of the enemies of the Wildcats. 
Dal Dalmanite, Dalmanite in flash suit. A drama, a drama niche, a drama, a drama mache, and a drama shay, and a drama shay, a drama shay. Ooh, look at her. Ooh, spicy. Artemis. I hope that's a woman. <laughs> Cause she could be transgender. Artemis. I don't. I don't want to even get into the story. Ooh, mama. Look at that. Destin. Hestia, focus camera. Let's go, focus. Just overall great looking artwork, man. And you know what? You guys don't even have to be uh, Attica. You guys wouldn't even have to be uh, fans of these uh, characters, bro, to appreciate some of the amazing artwork and just the metallic shine to these cards. H H A R M. Very very awesome, man. Just amazing, bro. There's so much slag. There's so much here, bro, with stories. You know, like with the right director, you can make an awesome, awesome movie based on these uh, characters. Judgment. And I would love to see him, bro. I would love to see him make a movie about these characters. And guess what? These freaking cards and the comic books, they go up in value, bro. Like that. Soon as soon as you make a movie, all of a sudden people pay attention. You know what, you know what I mean? Same thing with Avengers. You know, Avengers weren't a big thing. People, here's Talos. People, I love that artwork, man. People act as if the Avengers were huge. And especially back in the 90s. Nah, man. Avengers weren't that big. X-Men was big in the 90s. It wasn't until, you know, they started kicking out the, you know, the um, Marvel movies like Thor and Captain America and then Hulk. All of a sudden, you know, and then they did the first Avengers movie. All of a sudden, people who weren't Marvel fans, they got invested into uh, Avengers. And uh, here's Stricture. And uh, I know a few people. You know, who who never read the comic books, who just saw the movie, Doreen, Doreen, and became fans. So, yeah, you know, I think majority of people, I don't say majority, but I think a lot of people who watched the movies weren't fans of the comic books because they realized that, you know, Avengers weren't a big thing. Brutus, like, Iron Man wasn't a big thing until Robert Downey Jr. made it a big thing. You know what I mean? Iron Man was just a second tier character. Kilgore, I like that. Kilgore kind of looks like a mixture between Wolverine, Lobo, and Beast. Yeah, and people, people, Hellslayer, people don't realize, you know, yeah, Iron Man wasn't a big thing. Like growing up for me, Iron Man wasn't a big thing, you know, growing up. It was it was X-Men that made me a marvel fan so a recent a regent regent love that artwork bro look at that dog the quickness with the quickness we got a few more to go blood moon just look at this dude that's an awesome awesome character he needs to be put on on the big screen man uh, Gnome, I'm guessing that's how you say his name, Gnome. Love the artwork, bro. Look at that. Look how that shines. Stay tuned. Hang in there. We're almost done. Lord, a trophy. And trophy? I got a feeling I'm saying that wrong. I apologize. I am an idiot. Black Angel. Blood Queen. Oh, I have Blood Queen. I have uh, her in uh, figure form. If you guys want to check it out, she's in my Chaos Comics reviews. Uh, Prince Draken. Shit. Threshold. Bliss. Look at that artwork, man. Love it, dude. Love it. Bliss. Uh, Trav Traveler? We got a few more. 
Argos. And Despot. The spot. The spot. That's the spot. And here's the checklist. Wildcats. The animated series. Yeah, they used to have an animated series. September 1994. CBS, guys. Awesome, man. There was uh, my little review, guys. Let me know what you make of it. All 100 cards. I think I'm missing... I have the main 100. I'm just missing the rest of these cards right here. Then the autograph cards. That's all I'm really missing from this set. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this Wild Wildstorm set 1, value 1, I guess, go ahead. Give it a like. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section about these amazing cards. I'm going to put them in my binder. I'll show them to you next time whenever I have a time, whenever I have time, whenever I put them in the binder. But thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.